good morning children today is 10th day and we are dealing with the topic the fish tail and the concept for today's topic is speed distance and time children first let us know what is speed speed is a physical quantity which is defined as the rate of distance traveled the rate means the distance covered in a specific time is called rate okay so let us not go way in, into the technicalities of the definition let us know the formula and how we can solve different sums related to speed that involves the operation multiplication and division in this particular chapter but for that we should know the def, uh, the formula of speed and how do we express the speed formula of speed is distance divided by time for example you travel or an ant travels for example you take an ant is traveling a distance of 2 meters in 1 minute okay in 1 minute if an ant travels a distance of 2 meters the speed of ant will be 2 meters per minute okay now in the same way uh, like uh, uh, for example you uh, come to the school by bicycle okay and your house is around 3 kilometers from the school and you travel a distance of 3 kilometers and to travel this 3 kilometers the time taken by you is say 15 minutes so 3 kilometers in 15 minutes so 1 upon 3 kilometers per minute will be your speed okay now we shall know how we express speed speed is expressed in the terms of meters per second these are standard units these are also called as units for expressing speed either we say meters per second or kilometers per hour this slash means sta- this slash stands for per means one so many meters in one second how many meters in one second okay that's what speed tells or how many kilometers in one hour so this slash stands for in one instead of saying slash we say meters in one second or meters per second kilometers in one hour or kilometer per second okay sorry kilometer per hour okay the formula a uh, different formula which you should know before we go for the word problems related to speed our formula of speed how to compute speed speed is expressed as distance divided by time so whenever you are asked to find out speed there are there will be two components given the third component is asked among speed distance and time these are three components so among these three components any two components will be given and you will be asked to find out the third component so you need to know the formula of all the three if you ask if you are asked to find out speed you have to use the formula distance divided by time suppose you have you are asked to find out how much distance you are going to travel if your speed for example if your speed is 3 kilometers per hour okay then how many distance you are going to travel in 5 hours so for that you have to use this formula distance will be equal to speed into time distance is given by speed into time and if you are asked to find out time you have to use this formula distance divided by speed okay so first we shall once again revisit the three formula speed is equal to distance divided by time distance is equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance divided by speed just to make you remember always distance is here on the top distance will never come in the denominator remember this 
either distance is on the top or distance if distance is not on the top then we have to use multiplication symbol okay so this is how you remember speed is distance upon time time is distance upon speed so speed and time get interchanged you can if you bring time here speed will go here if you bring speed here time will come down like that and distance will become speed multiplied by time okay now we shall solve some word problems involving distance time and speed first we shall uh, have uh, like look into some small examples now speed of a boat is 12 kilometers per hour speed of a boat is 12 kilometers per hour it means the boat or it travels a distance of dash kilometers in one hour i have already told what is this per means yes one so in one hour 12 kilometers in one hour so it travels a distance of what should be the answer 12 kilometers in one hour is it clear no. similarly speed of a car is 80 kilometers per hour means it travels a distance of dash kilometers in one hour time yes per hour means one hour itself so answer should be 80 kilometers here fine now here a boat travels a distance of 18 kilometers in one hour then what is its speed yes its speed is 18 kilometers in one hour becomes per hour 18 kilometers per hour becomes the answer a truck travels 50 kilometers in one hour means its speed is 50 kilometers per hour okay now coming to the next question look at the question fifth a boat travels 108 kilometers in six hours then what is its speed so remember the formula of speed speed is nothing but distance divided by time so distance is always given in kilometers and time is given in hours or distance can be given in meters then time will be given in seconds fine so here kilometer per hour so how many kilometers 108 divided by 8 hours so if you divide okay 108 is in the numerator that has to be divided by 6 so 108 you divide it by 6 you will be getting the answer as 18 kilometers per hour is it clear similarly now you compute this question now the value of speed in this question a van travels 66 kilometers in three hours its speed is dash so distance is yes 66 kilometers divided by time is three hours 66 divided by 3 becomes 33 see here what is there kilometers per hour so it becomes 30 sorry 22 66 divided by 3 becomes 22 kilometers per hour okay now next question speed of a car is 40 kilometers per hour speed is given how much distance will it travel in for us so distance how much distance so distance is equal to speed into time so this formula we are using speed is given speed is 40 km per hour and how, what is the total time 4 hours so 40 into 4 when you multiply these two 44 4 4s are 16 and you put 1 0 so 160 kilometers will be the total distance travel similarly if a boat is traveling with a speed of 22 kilometers per hour how much distance will it travel in 5 hours so distance is given by speed into time the formula is speed into time 
speed is 22 km per hour into time is 5 hours. 22 into 5 makes 110. So the answer will become 110 kilometers. Okay. Children, that's all for today's uh, topic. Thank you children for your patient listening.